really trapped, so I had money way before the deal. Always Gucci down, they wonder how I could afford it still. Man, no out in bucks, I got a hell, he waiting on a bill. Stack it to the max, I really stashed away a quarter mil. Clumsy with them traps, I'm running down. If you leave them near, when they got a plug, they come me out, they wanna bring me in. Fuck around, get whack, I'm from the town, it ain't no trees in there. Tell them like this shit is right and it ain't even fair. Ask him what the buzz about. We be in the field, we had them bitches. What's good, everybody? Shaboko Sam's Reject here, and I'm an idiot. So I recorded this Vandy episode, boys, and went ahead and it saved, and my backup isn't up to date, so I couldn't go back and play it. And uh, we did win the game, you know what I mean? 35-28. It was a great game, actually. So we won 35-28. Vandy put up 14 points late to try to come back. We shut them out in the first and the third. Junior had a great game in this one, boys. Take a look at uh, Vandy's quarterback real quick. He threw for 340 on us. We got ran for over 103 touchdowns per usual. Uh, Junior threw for 382, four touchdowns, no picks, 50 passes, 63 completion percentage. On the ground, Aiden B missed 22 for 93 in the touchdown. Through the air, Kamara, two touchdowns, a touchdown for Peoples, and a touchdown for Tartan. Uh, look at all these pancakes. No sacks given up. And defensively, our guys played out of their mind. Uh, to an extent, but they play well enough to win. So with that, that is the end of the season, boys. And from that, we're going to go ahead and simulate through the bye week. We're going to sim all the way to the SEC championship, which we will 100% be in. And we're going to see who it is we get to take on. I hope that we get to get some get back uh, against Florida. We lost it in week one. We haven't lost since. And I feel like we need to show them that we're actually for real. All right, guys. So we move all the way up to the conference championship week. Uh, Terrence Harris, Keon Pitts, and Paul Walker are going to take us into the offseason. Um, Aiden Bemis breaks his record, his school rushing touchdown record. Uh, well, I think he I think he tied it because that was his record he set last year. Uh, as you can see, we made it to the conference championship. We're still ranked number one and everything like that. And we're going to be taking on 10 and 2 Kentucky. There are B's across the board. You know what I mean? We're C plus B minus C plus. Lee Corso is running with us. We're pretty even. The quarterback, 16 touchdowns and just three picks. Almost a thousand yard rusher on the ground. He's going to have a thousand after playing us, guarantee. Receivers doing all right with eight touchdowns. Hardy leaves him in tackles. Brown leaves him in picks. Anderson leaves him in sacks. And for us, Junior, 21 touchdowns, nine picks. Respectable season. Beamish uh, should get 1,000 yards after this game, 20 touchdowns. Greg Tartan Jr. should get 1,000 yards receiving after this game, too, with 12 touchdowns. Amon still killing it, leading us to tackles. Britter Smith leading picks. Damon Pop now our leader in sacks. Take a look at UK schedule. They lost to UL. I think that's the Raging Cajuns. And then they lost late to Vandy, but somehow, you know what I mean, they were still able to stick around and get in here. They're still at number seven. Um, of course, you know, our one loss to Florida and they ended up being six and six. So that was a fluke loss if I've ever seen one. So like I was saying, Pitts, Walker, Harris, all taking us to, you know what I'm saying, the off season. All three of these guys visited last week as well. Oh no, well, Harris visited week six. Walker visited week 14, Pitts visited week 14, and it was right on time for the most part. So like I was saying about Beamish's touchdown record, yes, he tied his own record. You know what I mean? He had 20 last year, 20 this year. He's going to obliterate that record more than likely after this season. He's already got one return of the year. Should be winning that again. He should also be walking off this season with the Heisman Trophy. Somebody asked me the other day to take a look at conference standings because they, they want to know who's moving up and moving down. But this is more than likely, you know, no matter how it goes, my last season here in this series. Um, I honestly don't see us losing. But for shits and giggles, uh, Missouri would be moving down if, if it was to start today. Um, let's see. Troy would be moving up to the SEC. Boston College would be going down. Georgia Tech will be coming back to the ACC. Big 12, we don't mess with them. Big 10, Indiana will be going down. Conference USA, Georgia will be coming back up. Or did I say that wrong? So I don't, the Sun Belt doesn't go to the SEC, right? Sun Belt goes to the Conference USA. Conference USA goes to the SEC. So Georgia will be coming back to the SEC. And as you can see here, they had a horrible season last year. But of course, being in the uh, the Conference USA, they were able to run the course. I mean, it wasn't even close. None of these games were even close. They even beat the hell out of Florida. But they're still a, and Vandy. They're still the SEC uh, type team. They almost lost to Marshall. So they handled their business down there in the Conference USA. Ole Miss was right behind them. Um, Independence, we don't mess with that. The Mac, Miami of Ohio will be moving up to the Big Ten. 
uh, Utah State will be going to the Pac-12, and for the Pac-12, Utah will be going down to the Mountain West. <laughs> oh, boys, look at this. So we just, we're just simulating some of these conference championship games, right? Miami barely beat Notre Dame 45-41. That's huge for Miami. They'll be in the playoff. Ole Miss versus Georgia would be in the Conference USA. And this is actually, this will actually determine which one of these two come back up to the SEC. We're going to go ahead and simulate that. And Ole Miss bumps off Georgia by three. So number two, Georgia is now going to move down in the BCS rankings. Uh, they're, they're, I mean, they still have a chance to be stay in the, uh, the tournament. You know what I'm saying? The um the college football playoff, but you know what I mean? That's a huge loss. But two SEC schools duking it out in the Conference USA Championship. Uh, Miami of Ohio needs to win this to move up to the Big Ten. They got bumped off, so Western Michigan will actually be moving up. So now, oh, man, if Utah State loses this. um, Oh, no, this is the – if Utah State loses this, Utah State will be going up to the Pac-12, okay? Uh, Oregon, UCLA, this game doesn't have any uh, relegation um, things. And remember, we played UCLA last season in the national championship, and they're they're a team on a mission right now. Uh, Iowa, Maryland, let's see who wins this. Maryland blows out and upsets number 15, Iowa, boys. So all these games were played. Nope, we got one more. We got Temple versus Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech needs to win to move back up to the SEC. I mean, the ACC, excuse me. They win that game by 21. That was just us, up to us versus Kentucky. I don't remember if we played Kentucky this season. It does not look like we did. This will be our first time playing them because they're on the other side of the SEC. So, you know what I mean? Let's get let's get out here and let's get after it. All right, guys. Take a look at the top players for UK. 90 overall kicker, 88 overall free safety, right outside linebacker, 87 overall, right? Take a look at their injury report. Center gone for three weeks. Free safety gone, well, probable. Running back gone for a week, dislocated ankle. Cameron strained Achilles, probable. So these dudes have been getting hit with the injury bug big time this year. Yeah, hunting on my bed, texting with the bill. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie of the year. Fronting with the cash, it's getting moody over here. Hunnets on my bed, sexing with the bill. Roses in my wallet and I'm flexing it for real. Racks and racks and racks, I look like rookie. All right, boys, it's a big one. Here we are, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, Atlanta, Georgia, right? Yeah, because this is in the Superdome. Atlanta, Georgia, boys, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, SEC chip. Let's go, man. We've been in a big game. We played in the Natty. We played in Vegas already. But, you know what I mean, the allure of, uh, you know, college football, you, don't, you didn't really earn your way to a Natty or earn your way to dominance until you win the SEC. All right, guys, here we go. Underway. Loving the way it looks out here. Empty backfield set, 100% of pass. Let's get in there, grill, and make and make, a, and make, a, make a play. Hall, oh, we won. We got picked up. I thought I was going to get in there clean. All right, there's a second and four for uh, UK. Man in motion. That usually means run. And we're there. One of them, one, baby. Let's go. The other empty backfield set. Let's put some on. Oh, we got, oh, it's the screen. Make a tackle, boys. Let's go. Trey Hamilton. All right, Beamish back here to get his first punt return of the game, baby. Let's go. Ooh, Kentucky. I didn't know they were going to have wheels like that. The gunner came in, you know what I mean? All right, we'll go first and 10. We're going to go to the air. First play of the game. And it actually ends up looking like a run, and we get sacked. Like, you see how people are coming in untouched? That's a D lineman coming in untouched, bro. That shouldn't be happening. All right, we go second and 21. We, we flip the play. All right. Get open, get open. What is he doing? Hard to be successful when you're running for your life immediately, bro. Even when we were running his way. I got to see if I can trust Greg. He's got the speed. What a throw. What a catch. Bang. Let's go. 51-yard pickup, baby. I think that puts him over 1,000 for the season, too. He, I think he was at, like, 950 coming into this game, bro. Let's go, Greg. When you need a big-time play, your big-time players make plays. Boom. We got the blocks. Cut it back out. Ah, well, at least we pick up the first. Way to block out there, though, guys. All right, we go second and 19. Untouched the get God dang. Oh, this is unreal, man. Harris, that's dude's second sack the same way. Untouched every time. Oh, this is. 
If this is how this game is going to be, this is going to be a fun experience for us. Oh, wait, what am I doing? All right. I don't, I'm going for this. I don't know why. I pressed the button by mistake, but here we go. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. We're, we're amazing out here, fam. All right, boys, here we go. Third and seven. We already know they're going to the air. Make a play on the ball. Come on. Oh, that's not. It's Bridger Smith. You're there. I mean, it's Kenya Kelly. Uh, I just feel like, like, uh, I just, I mean, not even could say a good route. All right, we'll go first and 10, boys. Let's go. There's the pass. They're going to the air. Right over the middle. Ooh, good play, Amon. But I would love to see you put two hands up. All right, second and 10. Going to the air again. Boom. All right, you knocked it loose. You knocked it loose. Let's, way to go, Matt Fry. That's that senior leadership. But put the hands up. Come on. All right, here we go. Get off the field here, boys. It's a screen. I've seen it. I just got to make a tackle. And I missed. But the rest of the team did not. Let's go. I think that's out of field goal range, man. Let's go, boys. All right, boys. Here we go. We got to try to, uh, yeah. What happened last time on defense? Not, not the wave, man. But here we go. I had to audible to something quick. Got a step. Give me that. Ooh, I got to jump there. Tartan with another big catch, man. Let's go. At this point, man, I'm just trying to win. I don't care what the play calls are, what it takes. Still not audible in. I mean, still not hot routes or none of that. But you know, they were they they had one. They had no safety highs. I had to go deep, dog. Ah, well, I'm, I'm lucky he didn't fumble there. We got a uh, third and two. Boom. Jacob Hill just pick up the first. Nothing cute. Nothing extra. Is he not down? Ooh, now he is. Okay, let's go. KJ Peoples, you love to see it. Down inside the five. Get in there, Aiden. All right, just short. All right, guys, let's see if we can get it in the end zone here. Second and goal. Toss it outside. Nobody blocks. This team's so freaking frustrating, bro. We're third, three for four on third down conversion so far. But golly, man, could we not get the third down sometimes? Boom, oh, there he is. Come on, Malik. We don't pick it up, but we're going for it. Scared money don't make money. We're not kicking a field goal. Not kicking a field goal. I don't care what game it is. Maybe in the natty, but not the SEC championship, fam. Give me an end zone. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. Turn me up. We in the end zone. Bang. Let's go. Stop playing. All right, guys. Here we go. Let's get it. Somebody step up and make a play. Oh, this is a wildcat formation. We know they're running. We know they're running. He breaks my tackle. I'm a D-tackle. User D-tackle. This man just uh, get off me. Second and seven. They only picked up three off of that. I was mad, but... Oh, yeah, I knew quarterback was going to take off. Come here. I am a D tackle, big hitting a quarterback. And it looked like a wrap up tackle. All right, we got a third and three. Blitz and Quan. Oh, we're in there with Scott. And I got picked up late. I was just about to dive. Good hit by Fry. All right, hand off the roads and good tackle. All right, guys, we got a second and three here for uh, Kentucky. Boom. Some type of screen. No, it's not. It's actually a little quick pass. Keenan breaks one tackle, brought down by Bridger Smith. All right, boys, here we go. First and 10. Oh, come here. Ooh, come on. He got rid of that pass in time. So today's one of those days where we try to send extra blitzers and it's just not working in our favor. Maybe we'll see what zone can do because he's getting rid of the ball quick, bro. We're in zone. He's trying to take off. He should have nowhere to go. He does not. Come here. Big time sack. Damon pop sack number two on a day, man. They don't, they don't got the only D, D lineman that can come out here and get multiple sacks. All right, empty backfield set, man. Here we go. Going to coverage with Scott. Why not? Quarterback's taking off. Come here. Come on, Damon Pop. Of course, he doesn't make the tackle. He picks up eight. All right, third and six. Get these dudes off the field here, man. We got to get these dudes off the field. Here's a screen. We're there with Hall. Of course, I'm a D-tack. <laughs> Come on, fam. Like, what more do I have to do? I can understand not catching the pick. I understand that wholeheartedly, but I can't make a tackle. He slipped off of that tackle. Like, come on, cuz. Oh, I was in the wrong play, and I got stuck on Trey Hamilton. Make a tackle, guys. Good job. This is BS, man. Oh, I'm stuck on the stuck on the linebacker again. Quarterback's taking off again. We make the tackle. All right, here's a third and five. Oh man, I couldn't switch on the D. I couldn't switch off the D line, man. Hey, dog, this game is so full of it, man. This game's full of it, dog. Like, what am I? Sometimes you're just gonna get scored on, bro. You're just gonna get scored on. Finally, get back down to my D to my D uh to my D line, man. Come here, come here. Balls on the ground. How do we not pick this? Uh, big sack. Was that Damon Pop with another sack? I'm not even sure. Wow. And they're going to end up, well, at least we hold them to three, right? But, man, that, getting a fumble there would have been huge if we could have picked that up. But we got Aiden Beeman, so we could possibly still get more points. Of course, man, I'm glad he didn't fumble. I'm glad he didn't fumble that. 
I felt that in my soul that that was going to happen. But we're going into the locker room up four, man. Pretty defensive game. We got to find a way to bust it open in the second half. We get the rock. Let's see if we can get it done. Well, there we go. Come on, Aiden. Oh, yeah, we got the blocks. We, this is how you start off in the second half. Let's bust it wide open, baby. This is why he's going to win the Heisman, man. Let's go. And he breaks his own record once again. 108 yard return is going to go in the books as a, as a 107 yard return but nonetheless baby we out here man this is on record he beat about three yards and i don't think he can do any more than that let's go all right boys here we go 14-3 lead it, it took less than 20 seconds you feel what i'm saying ah uh, we gotta make those tackles fam we gotta make those tackles baby all right we go another first and ten man let's see if we can get back there Ooh, way to come up and make that play, baby. Kenya Kelly with a big TFL. All right, second and 13. Empty backfield set. Still a run. Come on, red jerseys. Get to the ball. Let's go. All right, so Kentucky's four for six on third down conversions, right? And, um, you know what I mean? We're, 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 it's a third and 10. We, we got to come up with a stop is what I was getting at. And Keegan with a, with a, Keenan with a big one hand catch over the middle of the field, bro. I mean, man zone. It's not, it's not even mattering, dog. There we go. First and 10. Blitzing for whatever reason. I don't know what that is, but it's a run. Draw play to Rhodes. We're in the backfield. Two of us. And Kenyon, 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 Kenyon Kelly with another big time TFL. Second to 14. Wide open, of course. Oh, he didn't get his feet in. So they're five for seven on third down conversions today. Can we finally get him off the field? That's all I'm going to ask. That's what I'm finally going to ask. Third to 14. They go with a draw play. Wow, and he's still almost picking up the first dang down. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see what we can do first and 10. Beautiful. Turning that corner all into, you know what I mean? Giving them fits, baby. Let's go. Boom, hand off to Aiden. Get out there and make a block. Get out there and make blocks. Let's go. I wish he would have held a little bit longer, but we pick up the first. All right, here we go. Second and 14, boys. Let's go. Come on, Junior. Stay up. Aiden Beamish. How does he pick up seven out of that? I don't know. All right, boys, here we go. Third and seven. Beamish. In motion. You just got to make people miss their first down. Let's go, baby. Got one. Ooh. We actually didn't even let Jacob run his route all the way, but Junior was still able to beat that DB with that pass there, man. Let's go. Let's get it, man. You love to see that for real, dog. You know what I mean? Another another DB was lurking, and then, you know, uh, Jacob Hill goes up and makes a tough catch. All right, boys, you know what time it is. Get them fours up, man. 14-3 lead. Not a crazy scoring game. Not a, not a lot of wild stats. But we're out here winning ball games, man. That's all we can ask for. All right, we go. Second and goal. Let's go. Junior flushed out. Probably had a few passes he could have made. But he's going to try to take it with his legs. He does just that. And he's in the end zone. We got a 23 lead. 21-23. You know what I mean? As long as we hit the extra point. And this game is pretty much all but over. But we need the defense to still lock up. All right, fellas. Here we go. We're going to blitz Kelly off the edge. Let's see if that helps. Boom. Let's go get in there. Ah, this goes to the check down to Jones on the other way. Boy, was I wrong. Boy, was I wrong, but it's not a big play that hurts us. They go to Rhodes. He picks up the first. Oh, why am I stuck on Alec Amon? Boom. McBride. Oh, we forced a fumble. How do we not get that, dog? And that's going to be a sack for Alec Amon. I was, I was clicking through trying to get to the lineman and trying to do defensive hot routes, but, you know what I mean? I'm still going to make a play if they come near me. Boom. See, look, there I am stuck on Reed trying to draw up a blitz. Oh, I just straight up missed that tackle. How does he fuck? Ball's on the ground again. And this time we pick it up. Terry is there to get the force fumble. It was he down. That's the question, bro. Yeah, he was down. If they pass, they pass. We're all over that play. Come here. Wallathan Puan, big tackle. All right, guys. Four down territory for him. They're down 18. Of course, they're going to go for it here, right? They're going to go for it. I'm not even going to rush. We're not going to get to him. You, you dig what I'm saying? They actually go to quarterback draw. The dumbest play ever. The dumbest play ever. Let's go ahead and end this. All right, we go. Try to run out this clock here. Oh, yeah, he's going. Super ball game. Super ball game. And he's going to put a stamp on that Heisman Trophy, baby. Let's go. He's put a chokehold on that joint. Like, oh, come here. Let's get it, man. You know what time it is. Everybody's been chasing Beamish all season long, fam. You love to see it, dog. What a what way to way to read the whole good cut and that breakaway speed, man. You not too many people in this in the in the, in the country is gonna catch my man's. All right, we go second and two. Oh, that's just straight up speed. That is just straight up speed by Beamish. Ah, stay in bounds. That a boy. That a boy. Thirty-two yard pickup, man. Let's go. 
Warfield in the game now for Beamish. And he's going to get into the end zone. I mean, yeah, when Beamish does eventually get tired, you still have to worry about this guy Warfield, man. And it's not a pretty sight when he when he's rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. All right, guys, clock hits triple zeros. Big, 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 big. 24-point victory here on, not on the road, in the SEC Championship, man. And you see Junior puts his hands up. They said it couldn't be done. They said, yeah, you won the Sun Belt. Yeah, you won the Conference USA. But will they be really be able to compete in the top conference, which is, you know, the SEC? And then it didn't look too good coming out. We lost to Florida in the beginning of the year. They ended up going 6-6. Six and six, And now here we are, 12-1 and one in SEC champs and still number one in the nation and in the driver's seat heading into the college football playoff, man. I mean, what, what, a, what, a, what a ride it has been. Three years, three conference championships in three different conferences, and our boys continue to dominate, fam. Aiden Beamish, 13 carries, 134 yards, two, two receptions, 17 yards, and three touchdowns. You already know he ran that kick return back. And Coach uh, Justin Thompson Sr. raises that trophy with his man, Aiden Beamish, boys, and we got it done. Can't ask for much more, man. We got it. Score summary, man. Nobody scored in the first, only 7-3 going into the locker room, and we outscored them 27-7 in the second half. That's the difference. We outgained them, you know what I mean? Ran for more, threw for more, barely. We were 66% on, on uh, third down conversions. They were 5 for 10, 50. We were both 50% on fourth downs. Uh, we were 75% in the red zone. They were uh, zero. No turnovers, surprisingly. Uh, we had 129 kick return yards. Uh, we had 435 total yards, and they actually beat us in time of possession. Player stats, Junior, another efficient game, 10 for 14, 190 yards, 71 completion percentage, no touchdowns, but no picks. He was sacked three times, though, and that was all in, like, one drive. Rushing, Aiden Beamish, we went over his stats. Junior and Trey Warfield also had a touchdown as well. Receiving-wise, uh, nobody scored, but uh, Tartan had the biggest day. Hill had the most catches, and everybody else kind of just chipped in. Uh, two sacks given up by four, one given up by Grice, but Ford also had three pancakes. Defensively, Damon Pop led us in tackles. Six off solo, six five solo for Puan. Two sacks for Pop. Uh, a sack for Wyatt, a sack for Amon. Um, we didn't catch any picks or anything like that. Uh, we didn't kick any field goals. We didn't punt, but we did run a kick return back for a touchdown. All right, man, so we're going to go ahead and add this SEC championship to our profile. Yes, sir. And boom, Aiden Beamish. What's the issue? What? 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 Life of a parent. And boom! Just like that, Aiden Bemis walks home, brings home the Heisman Trophy, the first one in school history. It was by a landslide. 445 first place votes, 1,847 total, 3,500 all-purpose regular season yards, boys. 31 total touchdowns. I mean, what else is left to be said about our guy? So we're going to go ahead and walk away with the Heisman Trophy. He's going to walk away with Returner of the Year. And we're going to walk away with AP Coach of the Year. So if we weren't doing the college football playoff, boys, it would be us versus Oklahoma in the natty. But as you guys know, of course, we're going to go ahead and set that up. All Americans, uh, our Heisman winner was not an all was not a first team All American. You gotta love when you see that they be killing us. But Alec Amon is a first team All American here, his first time uh, in his career. Second team All Americans, Aiden Beamish, Greg Tartan, Greg caught for a thousand yards once again. Damon Pop is a second team All American. Uh, you know I me mean? with his six sacks, thirty four tackles. And then our guy, Trey Hamilton, is a first-team All-American. 50 tackles, two sacks. No picks this year, but, you know what I mean, still playing pretty solid. Uh, I don't think we had any freshmen that started. Oh, Damon Pop is a freshman. Redshirt freshman. He's a freshman All-American. And then Kenny and Kelly is a freshman All-American. 36 tackles, five, five for loss, uh, a pick, a pass deflection. You love to see it. Now, all SEC, we got Junior, Beamish, Tartan. Let's go over to the defensive side of the ball. Damon Pop, Trey Hamilton, Alec Amon. Coming over to the second team, our guy Kenny Page is a for his second team all ACC, SEC. Carlos Billups, Wes Scott, JT Hall, Bridger Smith, Matt Fry. And you know what I mean? That's a, that's a good look. Real quick, we can go over to award winners, even though we got snubbed a lot. You got Clark. Here's the Maxwell winner. Here's the Walter Camp. Here's the Bednarik. Here's the Nagurski. Here's the, the Davey O'Brien. Here's the Dope Walker. Here's the Belitnikov. Here's the Mackey, the Outland, the Remington, the Lombardi, best linebacker, 
Thorpe Alec Amon just miss being the Thorpe winner, but Tim Brown of Middle Tennessee State with them seven picks, you can't really, you know what I mean, uh, look, overlook that, even though Amon was all over the field tackle-wise. The Groza, the guy, and we already know Aiden Beamish won returner of the year. Nine total return touchdowns so far this season. So in the BCS rankings, it would be us taking on Georgia. <laughs> We beat them in we beat them in the tournament. I mean, we beat them in the college football playoff last year. So us versus Georgia, even though they lost to Ole Miss, they only they only went down from one to eight. They were still able to stay in the mix with two losses. Oklahoma will be taking on Ole Miss. UCLA will be taking on Texas. And Minnesota will be taking on Miami, boys. That is the table, and it is officially set. Take a look at the, the leaders in the nation real quick, too. Junior top 10 in passing. Bemis, not even in not even in the top 50 in rushing. Receiving wise, Greg Tartan, top 15. Tackles, Alec Amon led the nation. Hamilton was third. Sack wise, Damon Pop, top 50. Pick wise, Matt Fry, you know, not even really in the mix. We didn't catch a lot of picks at all this season. And we super don't kick the ball enough to even be in this conversation. So that's it, boys. That is going to do it for today's episode. We will be back with college football playoff action next week. We're going to see if we can uh, have another magical run, boys, and win a bunch of games and uh, call ourselves the king of the hill at the end of the season. We're three wins away from being the national champion. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, man. If you did, slam a smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. Letting you go, I was just letting you know I know the weather is cold, but you on your own I ain't no regular Joe, you should've left me alone I'm in the zone, I'm where the predators roam We at the Senate in Rome, and I'm on the throne This ain't no regular poem, this ain't that regular tone, no Do you follow me?